Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Underrail, shall we? Continuing our dominating run. And I just want to say I really appreciate all of your tips and advice about how hard dominating is and giving me some things to think about. More traps, more pickpocketing, uh, better, uh, you know management of my limited resources all things that i need to do if i want to be successful so thank you so much everyone for watching and for your tips oh i got a red hand um well actually you'll always get a red hand on the pickpocket won't you maybe let me think about this yeah all right um <laughs> it scared me for a second uh what do i want that you have I guess just, I can't say no to that. And then everything else is, you know. There's no way I can steal from our bad guy. Resident Gorski. Oh, I actually can. Um, I can't take his boots, which I wish I could because they're really strong. But I can take uh, these bullets, which are worth a ton. So let's go ahead and do that. And what do you have? You have a... That sells for a lot. Ooh, this is a better hack sword than what I have, actually. So this just improves my skill by five. But it does consume more energy. Um, still, I think it's just a good upgrade for me. It's really not worth that much, but... You know, what, this is worth... If I sell it, I get 25% of the sale value. Um, you know, let's just go with practical for now. And we'll go ahead and immediately um, use a battery on it. Uh, we're going to recharge an item. It's in our pack, and it's this. Uh, maybe that... Did it work? Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on my quick bar. So I'm a little bit better at hacking. I can take from these shelves freely. Probably going to be nothing on them, as is, you know, how things normally go down. But that's still pretty good. Let's talk to our dude. Um, what do you need me to do? Open the door. All right. Um, I'm off. Okay. Okay. So let's save it and celebrate that we're still alive. Okay, uh, I'll stealth, even though there's not real much of a reason to. Just practice. Old old habits die hard. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nothing good there. Hey, Omega. Love it. We're very close to leveling. Oh, that stuff is great. I always forget, like, how long was Omega here? You know, before they're spat with SGS or whatever. I mean, is this stuff, like, decades old or just a few years old or even older than that? Oh, look at those bottles. Give me some rags and some gasoline and we're having a good time. I'm going to save it. I can't remember where I start to encounter enemies here. Uh, power generator. Um, change this configuration and power the elevator. I don't know. Change. I don't want to turn off the lights. I don't think that works to power the elevator, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. Here they come. And they're all just regular rat hounds. Which isn't really that exciting. But my armor still isn't where it needs to be to handle these. 
Honestly, I can just throw one of these. I think I hit myself there, uh, which is, you know, more than slightly embarrassing. Um, if I move here, I'll have 10 AP, and this takes up what? 10 AP? So this should work if I move right here. How about that? It more than worked. Beautiful. Alright, let's go level up. Okay, let me save it and uh, level up. Alright. Uh, okay. So I already talked about this, but it needs to be mechanics up to at least 25. Ooh, we get a feat. Cancel leveling up. Yes, please. I want to just double check what I need for crafting a grenade. Actually, no, I can already craft a grenade, can't I? I already made one. Um, no, no, it's repair kit that I wanted. Oh, right, right, right. So it's like mechanical... Yeah, for... So this would be, I would need at least 25 mechanics to do that. Okay, so let's get at least 25 mechanics. So we're going to, you know, not really make much of a change with melee, of course. This all goes up in equal measure. And mechanics, I want to get my skill to 25. Um... Now I keep boosting this. Um, hmm. I think, I can't remember if you have to have one point in traps to attempt to disarm, but I'm going to put just one point into it, um, just in case there's any traps or any disarming that needs one point. Uh, I'll kind of sputter around in some of these. There you go. And then feats. So, um, this was a good tip by my buddy Jean-Luc. I can just search for hammer. And we're going to search all feats. And like Super Slam, for example, melee 75 and melee 100. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so this is great, but I don't have it. So all I need to do is just keep going melee to get there. Now let's think about this. Maybe we take Juggernaut. This is something I want. And I would like to get a suit. I just don't think I can afford one. So wrestling says when you strike a living target with fist weapon or... Oh, no, that's not me. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could yell. Yeah, this would be nice. I want Juggernaut. It just... It might not be good right now, but it leads me to the position that I want to be in with this character. 
and it gets me so I can go back to SGS and even the junkyard and maybe just try to scare up somebody who has an armor suit that I can wear. Hacking, you say? Backpack. It's got the key. And it's got a card. It's great stuff. I could have got in there with, you know, just going in through the vents, but I didn't. Ventilation shafts everywhere. I'll be there soon enough. But, I mean, hacking is experience. That hounds really aren't that great anymore. But I can kill them pretty easily. Alright, that worked out nice. One at a time. I like to see that. Omega, how about some armor? Lock picking, I could do that. I actually really need a bandage. I need a bunch of bandages. <laughs> Adrenaline, yeah, we can use that. Another Omega card, that's, that's fantastic. Really is. All right, let's just keep looking. All these desks. This is a good place to put armor, is inside a desk. Oh, all right. Surveillance room, protectorate propaganda, and a blueprint for a combat knife. Blueprint for a mine? Cool. A sharpening stone. I mean, I should be able to sharpen my hammer. Come on. Or there should be a bluntening stone. <laughs> Makes your blunt item even more blunt. Look at this. I mean, there's no reason to pick the lock. I just waste a lock pick. But it's is it worth 40 experience? Is that what it's going to give me? Yeah. It feels like it's worth using a lock pick just to get the experience. That could be a wrong assessment. Um you know, cost-benefit analysis-wise, but it, it seems like it's okay. All right, so let's go over here. And save it, and okay. God, I'm stealthy. I think we all know that. There's a huge guy with a hammer trying to sneak around down here. <laughs> Alert. Possible intruders detected. Oh. Um, right. So they've got bots on the prowl. I don't really have, like, EMPs or anything like that. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, okay. I could have disabled their, like, security system, I guess, but I just really didn't do that. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. Nice. Well, that's a problem. Oh, you broke my shirt. I'm just gonna load the game. I... I don't really want that to happen to me. Okay, let's try a different path. Um, do I want to... Does the elevator even work? I can't remember if it even goes. Can I go to level two? Okay. Oh, this is where I was anyway. And there's a robot right there. Right. Boy, I remember this. All right. Uh, I mean, can I take one of them? I have the key card. Let me. Can I turn these things off? 
here. Let me let me close the door for a moment. Lock picking thirty. I can actually open that. Just out of lock picks after that though. Good stuff. There's the EMPs. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I have enough hacking. There, there's monitors, though, but there's no terminal to, like, disable them from, you know, unfortunately. I'll save it, though. You know what? Actually, let me go here. What I should do is uh, toss out my Molotovs for EMPs at the moment. And sort my inventory. I'm almost overburdened, too. It's probably in my best interest to uh, move out so I can offload some gear. Oh. Sentry bot. Well, boy, it really won the initiative, didn't it? Okay. Okay. It was short-circuited for a turn. I don't know how much damage I really even do with my hammer. Not very much. We can almost get it, though. If I get a crit, it should die. I mean, in a couple of turns. <laughs> oh, it had another stun on it. So it has an incapacitation and a stun. Brutal. All I can say is, ouch. Uh-oh. Oh, it sees me through the window. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go around the corner at, at the least to here. See if I can get it to pull around and at least get some... ...preemptive strikes on it. I'll use my EMP grenade on it, even though it's just one. Okay. My weapon is broken again. Which is kind of hard to believe. Like, I just repaired this. It breaks really fast. It might just be a situation where it's like, I just need to, uh... go back to SGS and buy armor and, you know, better supplies for this place. I'm just not doing the amount of damage that I want. All my stuff is broken. Ooh, that miss. He's going to stun me, so it's good. That, that miss actually caused me to lose. One miss. To be honest, though, you deserve to die if you miss a robot that's, like, stunned at your feet with your hammer. Okay. Um. Is it worth, like... Do I head back now? Because my stuff is gonna break? Hmm. Do I have a repair kit for this? Huh? I guess I repaired it. I'm gonna mess around with these... ...sentry bots a little bit more, but to be honest... ...if I can't handle them... ...as is... I really, really might just go back and buy some armor. Here's one, okay? So, I don't mind, um, you know, fighting this one right here. Okay.
Yeah, I think what I would like is, uh... I'm just going to load my game. I'm going to go back and get see if I can buy an armor suit. I'm just taking too much mechanical damage. And if I had an, a suit of armor that could um, protect me a little bit better, then getting stunned and incapacitated just wouldn't even be a big deal. Because I could just soak it up a little bit more. Like, what I have on at the moment is, uh, you know, 17% mechanical resist. Three. You know, it's just not enough. So, instead... Where am I on the map? Here? What happens if I go straight down this way? I should probably just stick to the path back and hope that no more rat hounds have spawned. What I'm going to think about is like, okay, um, what if... Oh, I found another mine. That's just so dumb. Why would there be... The mines, first of all, they didn't do anything except hit me. Um, oh well, my perception is low, so I just get to deal with the joy of stepping into mines that Southgate set, maybe? Who knows who set those? Um, okay, so my armor is busted, but eh, we can at least talk to the, uh, the doctor here to heal up. Need to work on getting repair kits. Um, can I recycle item yet, actually? Let me see about that. Like, if I want to recycle, like, w let's say I wanted to recycle this junk sledgehammer. Um. I would get seven scraps from it. Okay. And then I can recycle, like, some of these knives or something. Seventeen scraps, okay. Um, so how many scraps am I up to? Thirty-seven? Yeah. Recycle this one. And now I have 54. And then let's make a repair kit with this. And I will make a mechanical repair kit. Okay, so this, this can be something I use to, to help myself out. Now, what if I put on like... Oh, you have to have exactly 40. Um, that's fine. All right, so this is, uh, these are leather boots, but I'm going to try to replace these anyway, but I need this for my hammer. Look at this. This restores 150. This is already down 150. So let me just use this on my hammer so that it doesn't break while I'm out in the field. And let's go up here. We'll go to medical and get healed. Um, medical. Indeed. Take a look at my injuries. Alright, and can we trade it all? Yeah, we can. You want these and this, and you'll give me 45. That's pretty good. Do you have anything that I would want to know. I already know that, but I don't think I'll be able to make it anyway. Um, I need bandages, though. I'd have to give him 192 for that. Look how brutal this trade is. You want five bandages? You know, pieces of fabric you wrap around a wound? That's going to cost you two desaturated psionic inhalants 
and three Psy boosters and 14 SGS credits for five pieces of cloth that I've washed. What do you think? Oh. Oh, mercy. Good deal. All right, uh, let's check out the armory. Yeah, this is the one I can actually get into. So I'll save it. And, um... Oh, okay, never mind. Well, good thing I saved it. That that gun immediately sees me. So I, I can't... It's interesting because it's like... How could I stealth... I'm wondering, like, what's... There's no place I could stealth where I'm not... Like, in the... This thing is always going to see me. So why put a lock on that door? Like, how could I... Unless I broke this and killed everybody in the compound or something. You know what I mean? But... Anyway. Alright, let's look at your armor selection. You at least have a rat hound leather overcoat. Okay? So, immune to burning, that's good. Persuasion decreased by three, that's fine. Um, but then this is better mechanical. This would be good just against bullets, and this is worth considering. It doesn't make me immune to burning. Boy, the durability on this one is just 120 higher. Good lord. So this would double the damage I absorb from incoming bullets. Which is great. Um, it's not a suit of armor, right? Right? So it's not going to work with my Juggernaut, but it'll help me in this case significantly. So if I wanted this, um, what could I trade you? How much money would it take? It would take 630 for this. Okay. So instead, what if I just gave you like... Where's my 9mm? It's up there. Okay. Alright, so I can go down to 469 for this piece of armor. I could sell my other sledgehammer, but it's nice to have a backup. This is as good as I'm going to get, I think, um, for now. I'm like, I can't even imagine how expensive it'll be to try to get a suit of armor. I'm going to try to find one, or at least get some more money but for now um this is pretty decent now if i want to make uh i could get some more emp grenades as well i'm just gonna learn some more things uh okay let's go to uh here let's see if i can sell some leather he might not be i just sold him stuff so he might not be refreshed yet He'll buy one leather. That's nice of him. And he'll buy that bolt. Oh, he sells a patching kit. How much is one? <laughs> it's so expensive. Alright, you don't sell the uh, blueprint for... Mm, I was hoping for bandage. Okay. I think you actually need pretty high tailoring for that anyway. Which I just don't have. I 
These don't do hardly anything. There's no point in repairing them. But this will be good for my insulated vest, so I'll trade you. All right. Lock picking 55. Oh, you know what? I'm out of lock picks. So let me go see if I can acquire some. Show me what you got. He will buy this foam padding. And then how many lock picks can I get? I can get 10, which is pretty good. Pretty good start. I mean, I could get like bear trap. I could make bear traps on the go. I don't know, it doesn't seem like they'd be good against sentry bots, but it seems like it's okay. Um, that's fine. I got myself some lock picks. I can get 46 with these lock picks, so I can't quite pick that door. Or the door that was above, anyway. Locked. Okay, well, that's just... It's just straight up locked. Fine. And we're going to go back to the lower under rail. So I think I can do much better against those sentry bots with this armor. I, I don't want to just like spend a bunch of money on EMP grenades because it just seems like it's a little bit overkill, not quite necessary. But I could be wrong about that. I still have two, anyway. Alright, what I'm going to do is also... Wow, this is fine. I could have gone to Junkyard right there just to sell. My inventory is getting a little heavy, but then again, in this game, there's nothing wrong with just dropping stuff on the ground. It never disappears. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah, this way is still actually a pretty decent approach. I'm going to put these on instead of Molotovs, and I'm going to stealth up, and we can go down. I want to come over here. Try to fight them. Mm, 50 is actually beyond my, my skill. Okay. It can see me through the window. Wow. Okay, that's a good initiative roll. But you... Ooh, that... That critical hit was absurd. Out of nowhere. It was like... Um, look at this. I resisted 12. It did 4. I resisted 12. It did 2. And... It hit me for 23. But I resisted... 15 of it? No, I don't think so. Twenty-three plus two is twenty-five. Twenty-nine. It's not... Oh, no, no, it did damage the first round as well. That's where the extra damage came in. Okay. Um, so, unfortunately, it's just going to stun me as well. I might as well just go around the corner. Oh, the miss. I was really trying to... Uh, it's going to stun me. I was really hoping that I would be able to... Stun it. Uh, 
So you can see that these just do like a ton less damage to me, um, but they're still really annoying. So I, it's probably in my best interest to use EMPs anyway, just because uh, I just can't kill these very fast. The missing is absurd. It's a square metal thing that's on the floor. There you go. Okay. All right. Um I have to bandage up right here so that I can take on another one, but I'm going to uh use an EMP on the next one, I think. I just can't I can't stand there and and get obliterated like that. I could go skulking around, you know. Oh, okay. Bad guy. I got the drop on it, so um oh, that one sees me unfortunately. Hopefully there's no more. The crit right there would have been ideal. I think it missed with its flashbang and and hit itself. Well, that went okay. I'll take okay, it's right there. Oh my. Oh, I've got the initiative again. Um, I did hit myself a little bit, but it happens. Pummel is a waste, I mean, in the sense that it, it's an attack that I can use, but it, um, oh, that was great. I was really worried I was going to miss right there. Okay, we got a uh, firearm barrel. These, that was actually something nice to get. I was really hoping for a flashbang. The second one didn't use one. It would have been nice. Not like I could have used it against them, but just a nice thing to have. All right, I'm going to save it. And uh, let's go down here. Uh, something in here must have seen me, unless there's, is there something around the corner? Oh, yeah, there is, okay. Um, this is not going to be ideal. There's a camera here, too. We'll see what this turns into, but I saved it right before this. There you go, the stun chain. The crit was unnecessary. Let's get us done. That did, we didn't get us done. I'm looking for a stun. Or a crit on, on our part. Instead of a stun or a crit, we got a miss. Ooh, and we got a second one. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, this, the camera saw us, which alerted the other one. Okay, let's try to go here then instead. EMP? Mm, battery. What you got? Okay. I mean... I can omni-tool it. We're in the shafts. Oh, there's rat hounds in here. Well, a rat hound, I guess, isn't the end of the world. Oh, there's another one.
there's multiple rat hounds. Those rat hounds are coming from inside the house. All right, sweet. Well, I'm in the SJS compound. We're inside their nerve system, taking out things. Doing pretty well, actually. The, uh, the vest is helping me with mechanical damage considerably. Um, and I think we're going to be fine uh, exploring this, opening everything, picking the pockets. And everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.